So within Katia v5, let's continue the features underneath operations. The following one will be untrim. Now, if I'm gonna check the description for the untrim, we're gonna see that this will untrim previously trimmed surfaces and curves. And for the case study, we're gonna take a look at this split over here. So if I will have this split deactivated, this is the initial surface over here. And this has been splitted using a spline. And the spline will be located over here in the middle. Now, if you don't want to just activate and deactivate features, you can use features such as untrimming in order to restore previous elements. This is really useful, especially since Katia uses a chronological step for each uh, feature. Therefore, if you have a split over here and afterwards you will start working on the part, it will be quite hard to have this deactivated and still maintain all the feature afterwards. And this is when untrimming can be useful. So let's see the functionality for the untrimming. We're gonna see that over here within the dialog box there are quite a few elements that can be added. So we have the possibility to do a selection over here. So the element that will be untrimmed in this case, we're going to see that we will select a split. And uh, we see the number of selected elements one and number of resulting elements one in this case. We can also click over here to create the curves. This will give us the boundary curve. So in this case, those will be those two edges and one over here at the top. If I will click OK like this, we're going to have the initial surface reappearing over here. Currently, this will be added over here within geometrical set 3 because I added two primitives over there. But if I will undo that, or I will just delete the last trim part, I will right click on the geometrical set 2, define in work object. Now Katia will add the untrim over here. So this is why it's important to work with geometrical sets since you can manage those better. So if I will click OK now, we're going to see the untrim surface over here and I can hide the original split and we're going to have this resulting surface. So this will be that. We can also change over here to also create the curves. So I will change that, click OK. And with that set, we're going to have curve one, which will be this segment over here, curve two on the other side, and curve three over here at the top. So those will all be curves, as we can see over here, they will be similar to splines, but they will also be as a result. So they will have that pictogram change over there. Now, if you recall from my previous video regarding um, how to split in Katia, we had uh, this case study over here. If I will center the graph, we're gonna see a lot of uh, sketches on top of an extrude. So this will be the rectangle that has been afterwards extruded and we're gonna have all of those. So if I will click that, in this case, since this has been extruded, it was uh, not actually a rectangle, but a line. So we see that over here. Now I can do that split again over here. So I will go for split and I want this to be splitted with those. If I will click OK, we're going to have the split over here. So this will be again added to a different um, section over here, a geometrical set, but we can change that with right click defining work object, but it won't matter for now. What is interesting is the fact that untrim, I can select this and we're going to see that we receive a warning. So the underlying geometry is infinite. Complete untrim could not be performed. So trim surfaces based on boundary box will be created. So in this case, those created by the bounding box will actually be the original one because that's the shape of the, of the bounding box. So if I can just click OK, we're going to have those restored. So over here, I use untrim on a split, but within this part over here, if I will select this, we're going to see that this will actually be a translated surface over here. So we won't have that history added over here. And if I will click on untrim, 
I can select it, but take a look at the selection because if I will select this face over here and I will click OK, the resulting untrim mesh will have all of those faces filled. So both those two in the middle, but also the sides, they will be recreated to their bounding box, so similar to the previous um, example. But if over here for selected elements, I will select, um, let me just cancel that and make it again in order to select differently. So untrim, I want this element and I will also select over here this line. That will be highlighted in red. And now if I will click OK, we're going to see that only that will actually be untrimmed over here. I can do the same for interior profiles, so I can select that, I will click OK, even though only half of that circle will be selected in red when the trimming uh, will be done, so untrimming, we're going to have that field. And later we can enter that and we can add additional elements to that selection. But as we can see over here, if I will just swap that, we are also going to have to position it over here. So within the element list, make sure that you're going to have multiple elements added if you want them all to be within the same uh, untrim over here. Or I can just delete that and I can recreate this. And for example, I want that, that, and we see those have been added over here, but only the last one. So I need to go over here and do that selection. So number of selected elements three, we have the two sides and uh, this filling in the middle. If I will click OK, we're going to have those filled in. Now regarding untrim, keep in mind that there are some limitations for that. I have prepared over here um, geometrical set where I created two subdivision surfaces within imagine and shape. And if I will have those splitted, for example, I want to cut um, the pyramid using the sphere. If I will click OK, I will hide that subdivision and the resulting surface will look like this. So something like, uh, let's say, the Eiffel Tower. We have that. And if I will go and I say that I will have, want to have this untrimmed, I will click uh, Create Curves. I will click OK. We're going to see that in this case, one or more elements could not be untrimmed because the geometry was not shared by every cell. You should use the assembly command on them or extract the faces to be untrimmed before entering the untrim. So in this case, the trimming is too complicated and the software doesn't understand exactly what it has to untrim over here. If I will go over here within this and if I will choose the other side, it will look like this. And if I will again try to have this created, we're going to see that same problem. So one workaround with you would be to go and have that uh, disassemble and extract those and we can work with that. But that is a more complicated workflow and I will present that within a following video. Now regarding untrimming, keep in mind that you can use it on split. But the same feature over here under the Genity Shade Design will also work with um, Freestyle. We're going to have uh, the split over here, so break surface or curve. So it will also work with this as the functionality of this feature is quite similar to, to the standard split, which is the most common one. OK, so I hope you enjoy this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. Also, consider to check my playlist for more Katia V5 tips and tricks. So that's it. Thanks for watching.